Hello guys, welcome to the next video on JavaFX tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will see how we can use lambda expression to perform our button action event handling instead of using this anonymous uh, class which has only one abstract method. So in Java 8, there was a term introduced which is called lambda expression which is made for this situation which says that if you have a single abstract method inside a class you can use lambda expression to directly call it right so let's see how we can use it so for example i want to add one more button here and i want to press this button and exit from our application right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy this button object and instead of uh, button i will name it as exit okay and the text which i want to uh, show here is exit itself okay and in the last video i have shown you there are different kind of layout you can use in javafx and in the last video we have seen how to use this stack pane now let's say in this video we are going to use v box which is vertical box so just use v box something like this and we will create a new v box and then using this exit object or exit button object we can just use it to call set on action method so just call set on action and inside this set on action what we can do is using lambda expression we can just use e and this arrow member and then you can directly call your single line codes for example you want to print something you can just paste it here okay and what this does is it will call this uh, method handle because it's a single abstract method inside this anonymous class and then it will perform whatever you write here right so it's like performing this code inside this handle method okay now for example instead of this i want to uh, exit from our application so what i can do is i can just use system dot exit and i will set the status as zero here and remove this semicolon and this is how you can use this lambda expression okay and you can see in a single line of code we have performed exactly the same task which this class was doing okay which is calling this abstract method right now one thing remains is we just want to add this exit to our scene right so just go here where we have called root.getchildren.add and instead of add we can use a method called add all okay and this method allows us to call multiple widgets for example we have two uh, buttons we can use two arguments one is uh, button and other is exit object right so in the form of arguments you can pass multiple object of widgets right so just call add all and it will add button one and exit button to your uh, stage now i want to show you one more thing using this primary stage object you can set the title of uh, the stage also so just call set title and give your title which will be shown on the stage so for example my title okay and save your code and run it and now you can see your title is here my title and we can see two buttons one is click me and other is exit right and when we click this exit button it's going to exit our application right so it's basically doing the same task but in a single line now you may ask if i have multiple lines of code for example i want to print something and then exit what will i do 
right? So for performing the multiple lines in the lambda expression, what we can do here is you can uh, give these two curly braces and inside these two curly braces, you can call your code. Okay, so just something like this. And before exiting, for example, you want to print something, you can print it. So we can say exit this app. Okay, and save your code and run it. And when I click this exit button, it's going to print this and then exit your code. Okay, so if you have multiple line, use curly braces with lambda expressions. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe and bye.